Hello and welcome to lecture 6, the first video in lecture 6. Um, uh, we are looking at uh, chapter 8, uh, the third act of mind, reasoning. And in this video I like to just focus on tautologies. Um, so if, if we can turn to page 189, so from page 189 through to 190, um, there are a few important points about tautologies that um, I, I think are quite interesting and will make the study of tautologies uh, quite an interesting enterprise. A, uh, a tautology is a proposition that does not need to be proved because it is logically self-evident. I think this is a crucial point that um, is not empiric tautologies are not empirically self-evident. They're not empirical categories. They are logical categories. It proves itself, so to speak, because if you deny it, you must contradict yourself. Exam examples are frogs are frogs, uh, whatever animal has teeth and claws has claws. If I exist, I exist, and nothing that is uh, uh, divisible is indivisible at the same time. A tautology can be defined in three ways. A. A proposition that is true because of its logical form, whatever its content, and I think that's a crucial point, true because of its logical form, irrespective of the content. Um, so we're not concerned about the content for tautologies. B, uh, a proposition whose contradict uh, contradictory is self-contradictory. Or C, a proposition whose predicate is necessarily contained in its subject. So remember that back to the, the lecture for S and P. So the predicate is necessarily contained in the subject. Okay. Um, so those are the three uh, logical modes that tautologies uh, uh, take. Um, if we go down a bit, uh, another interesting point about tautologies is that uh, a tautology tells us no new information, uh, which is also crucial and it can be explained by the fact that, um, uh, that as I've mentioned in Point A, um, tautology, we're not concerned with, with, the, with the, 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 the empirical content of the tautology. We're concerned with its logical form, not its empirical content. Um, hence, it, it, it's lacking in, a, uh, in, in, a, in its uh, uh, empirical information. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, a tautology is, is a lot, has a low or negligible uh, informational content. Uh, which, um, and I think it's interesting to keep that in mind when you consider that tautologies are necessarily true. Uh, so they're necessarily true, they're absolutely true. Um, so, so it's kind of one of these interesting points uh, uh, about uh, logic and, and argumentative language. Uh, that often is the case that we find the things that we find absolutely or necessarily true are often uh, the things that provide us with the least interesting empirical information, or the least uh, do not provide us with the empirical information that we actually want. So yes, something is uh, can be uh, can be described as necessarily true, absolutely true, um, but it doesn't really tell us much. Tautologies don't tell us much. Um, the, uh, uh, their contradictories are necessarily false, uh, and they're logically impossible. So that's how uh, we we work out if a, 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 how we de determine. Um, their, their, their truth content uh, uh, because they're, 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 the opposite is, is a logical impossibility. Um, yeah, so they are logical, not em 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 they're logically not empirically self evident. Uh, so, anything? So, I mean, yeah. So just a short point, but I think it's an important point 
when we consider tautologies, they're not, they're not as simple as what we often think of when someone says, ah, it's a tautology, you th just think this is a, a very simple, straightforward matter. No, these are very, this is a, tautologies are, are very complex and interesting um, uh, logical forms that are sort of part of the architecture of language and discursive rationality. Uh, and, and I think, you know, there are all sorts of not only logical, but, but ontological implications and implications for what we understand as, as, as you know, what we understand as um, things to do with the problem of truth and, and, and the problem of um, in, in perception of the empirical world that, that arise out of um, a, a study of tautologies. So, uh, in, yeah, in, in, in that case, uh, having a basic understanding of tautologies is, is, is good. But these, I think, uh, if, if you are interested, the uh, tautologies are, are an interesting case that um, you could easily spend your whole life studying the implications, the logical empir and empirical implications of, uh, uh, of, of, of tautologies. So um, thank you and that's all for this video. Stay tuned for the following videos.